As you know, in addition to the NCSFE Reference Handbook and the NCSB Power Reference Handbook, your calculators are the only other resource or tool that you can bring to the exam. In fact, the NCSFE Reference Handbook and the P Power Reference Handbook are actually provided to you during the exam, so you don't even need to bring them. But in this video, I'm going to go over some of the common mistakes that students make with respect to their calculators. Before we dive into the content, I would really appreciate if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Let us first go over three reasons why calculators are important for FE Electrical and PE Power Exam. And for that reason, any of the other FE exams or the PE exams. Reason number one, in addition to the NCSFE Electrical and Computer Handbook, in addition to the NCSP Power Reference Handbook, calculators are the only other tool that are allowed during the exam. Reason number two, calculators help you save time. If you know how to use your calculator, you can perform calculations like standard deviation, which will probably take you two and a half, three, three and a half minutes in just under a minute. You can perform calculations like taking an inverse of a three by three matrix within a minute. So it saves time. And the third reason is that it avoids error. If you are trying to solve any problem by hand, okay, if you're like me, you're probably gonna make mistakes. To avoid those mistakes, calculators have built-in features that minimize the number of steps and you are able to essentially do plug and play and come up with the right answer and minimizing unforced errors on the exam. Now that we have established some of the main reasons why calculators are very important for FE and the PE exam, let us briefly talk about the common mistakes that students make with respect to calculators. Mistake number one, they don't invest enough time to learn about their calculator features. Now within my FE electrical and computer exam preparation course, as well as a PE power course, I have dedicated videos where I actually walk my students through some of the most common features that they need to know for the respective exams. I'll be honest, FE electrical and computer exam, just like any other FE exam, is a race against time, both during exam preparation and actually while taking the exam. With three minutes per question, you really don't have any wiggle room to figure things out on the go. So you really need to be prepared and the calculator is going to help you because once you go through the drills, through the examples, through the practice problems, by using the calculator, you will become more proficient, comfortable, and confident using it on the exam. It is not something to be learned during the exam. So when you go through those videos, when you go through uh, your own independent learning and applying the calculator features on the exam questions by means of practice problems, by means of quiz problems and the mini exams, I have tons of those in the course, you will be in a better position to make full use of your calculator on the FE exam. It is equally important for the PE exam, but on the PE exam, you have six minutes per question as compared to three minutes per question for the FE exam. Mistake number two, on the exam day, please make sure that you at least have access to two calculators. Now, you might not be allowed to bring both calculators into the exam. Maybe you can just bring one calculator and would have to leave the other calculator either in your car or at the front desk. I'll share two quick stories with you. One of my students recently was about to take the P-Power exam and he found out on the day of exam that his calculator had run out of batteries. Now, these things actually last a long time. So I have here Casio with me and the TI-36 Pro. Both of these are very commonly used by students when they're preparing for the FE electrical and computer exam and the P-Power exam. And the likelihood of these calculators with such long lives, uh, battery lives, is actually very, very low. But it can happen and it happened to the student and fortunately he had enough time on his hand that he was able to make a quick run to Staples and was able to get a calculator from there. Another story recently, a student was about to take the exam and the day before he decided to essentially carry some extra batteries for his TI-36 Pro. This student actually went ahead and before the exam, like the day before the exam, opened his TI-36 Pro and tried to change the battery just to see that, you know, so that in case he has to go through the battery change on the exam that he can do that. So he figured out that first of all, if you try and change the batteries on TI-36 Pro, the warranty is voided. And the other thing is that it's not that easy. So the long story short is that on the day of exam, whichever calculator you're using, either Casio or TI-36 or HP, 
have ready access to at least two calculators. If calculator becomes a nightmare for you on the day of exam, your chances of passing the exam are going to drastically decrease unless you have a plan B. So don't put yourself in a situation where you are confused and nervous and your anxiety and adrenaline all shoots up because of calculator. And this is one resource that is there to help you not to give you stress. And the third and the final mistake that I see students making a lot is that during their exam preparation, which can take anywhere between four to six months for both FE and P exams, they actually end up using multiple calculators. My recommendation is that don't try to work with multiple calculators. I mean, select one calculator and become a pro at it. Download the guide, work through the guide. If you're enrolled in my course, you can go through calculator tutorial videos and just hone your skills on one calculator. Each and every one of these calculators that are approved by NCS on their website, ncs.org, you go to calculator policy, they have three or four different types of calculators, HP, uh, Texas Instruments, and Casio, I believe. And each one of them are equally good. It will be able to deliver you the results. It's just a matter of your personal preference, your comfort level, do your independent research, just pick one and stick with it, and then take it with you on the day of exam. In case you haven't used any of these calculators, here's what I would recommend. Go to a Walmart, Staples, Costco, wherever you can find these calculators and get a feel for these calculators. Eventually you can order them through Amazon or online or wherever and get an idea of which one you're more comfortable with. Because eventually you want to get to a point where you're actually able to punch in the numbers and use the features without even taking a look at the calculator. And trust me, of all the things that you're going to invest time outside of your actual F electrical and the P power exam preparation, this single activity is going to yield the highest result on the exam for you, both for F exam as well as a P exam.